there, this is Lindsay with Off The Beaten Hook and this tutorial is for my reusable water balloons. For the water balloons, you will need a size five bulky weight, 100% wool yarn, non-superwash. You wanna make sure that your yarn is not superwashed so that it can absorb the maximum amount of water for your water balloons. You'll need a size seven millimeter crochet hook, a tapestry needle and your scissor snips. So let's jump right into the pattern. So I start by taking about three or four yards of the wool to stuff the water balloons. I like to stuff them for a couple of reasons. First of all, it gives them their great little balloon shape and it also gives them um, a little bit more yarn to absorb even more water so they can get that really great splat with water. So I take that right off the bat um, this is about, I don't know, somewhere between three and four yards. I don't measure it exactly, but that will be to stuff it when the time comes. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to begin by making a magic circle and you're gonna stitch six single crochets into that magic circle. So with a magic circle, you're gonna go ahead and um, behave just like you're gonna tie a regular old knot, but instead of tightening it down, you're gonna leave it open like this. Flip it over your hand so that the working end of your yarn is coming up through the circle and over the top. I'm just gonna hold it lightly with your fingers. Uh, push your hook through front to back and snatch that working end of the yarn and pull it up, yarn over and pull it through. And this is your, uh, your slip knot. That does not count as a stitch for the magic circle. And now you're just gonna go ahead and stitch six single crochets straight in through that circle. So one, two, six. That counts as round one. So go ahead and close up that magic circle. Right, so for round two, we are going to half double crochet increase in each of these six stitches around. So for a half double crochet, you're going to yarn over first and then push your hook through your stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three of those loops on your hook. And an increase means you're placing two stitches into the same stitch from the previous row. So that was one, we're increasing, so we're gonna place a half double crochet into that exact same place. So yarn over, put your hook through the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Got three loops on the hook there, yarn over, pull through all three. So that is a half double crochet increase. So we're gonna do that in the remaining five stitches all the way around. Two. Six. Great, so after round two, you're going to have 12 half double crochets Moving on to round three, we're going to continue to make this circle bigger. So we're gonna place one half double crochet in this next stitch, and then we're gonna increase in the next stitch. So two half double crochets right there. And then repeat that same pairing all the way around the circle for six times. So half double crochet in this next stitch. And then a half double crochet increase in this next stitch. One, two, in that same stitch. Okay, that same pairing again. So half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet increase in the next stitch. I'm gonna repeat that all the way around. So four more times. All right, so after round three, you're gonna have 18 stitches all the way around your circle. Moving on to round four, we're gonna make this one notch bigger. So we're gonna place um, a single half double crochet here, a half double crochet here in the second, and then in the third stitch, we're going to do an increase. So we'll do that again six times all the way around this circle. So half double crochet one, half double crochet two, and then an increase. 
again, half double crochet one, two, and then an increase for two. So four more times. All right, we're at the end of round four. We should have 24 stitches around. So let's go ahead and count and make sure before we continue on. This one that's on your hook does not count as a stitch. This one right here does. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Perfect. So for round five, we're going to place a half double crochet stitch in each stitch around. So just one, there's no increasing on this round. So just 24 around. One, two. Twenty-four. All right. So you're gonna see this circle starting to close up a little bit and come around like a shape of a little cup, the top of our balloon. So after round five, you will still have 24 stitches. So now we're gonna to start to shape it back down again. So for the next rows or next rounds, we're going to be decreasing and bringing this around into the balloon shape. So for round six, we're going to place one uh, half double crochet here, one half double crochet here, and then we're going to decrease right here. And we're gonna repeat that half double crochet, half double crochet, decrease. So again, that will be six times. It should do that same pairing all the way around for round six. So half double crochet, half double crochet, and then we're going to decrease. So for a half double crochet decrease, you're going to yarn over, insert it into your next stitch, pull up a loop, and instead of yarning over and pulling through to create your half double crochet, you're going to immediately push your hook into the next stitch, yarn over again, pull up, and now you have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through. And that is a decrease. So you're turning both of those stitches into one stitch for this row, therefore making your round smaller. So we'll do that again together. So two half double crochets, and then a decrease. So yarn over, push it through your next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, immediately push it through your next stitch, yarn over, pull up another loop, yarn over, pull through all four. Let's do one more decrease together. Yarn over, push it through your next stitch, yarn over, pull up, straight away into your next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, all four loops on your hook there. Okay, so that was three, so three more of those pairings all the way around. All right, so at the end of round six here, a little more yarn. We're gonna have be back down to 18 stitches around. We're gonna go ahead and do another row of decreasing. So for round seven, you're going to place one half double crochet in this next stitch and decrease in this next stitch. Half double crochet and then decrease. So we're continuing to make the circle smaller. So half double crochet here, decrease here, making these two into one. So half double crochet one and then decrease for one. Half double crochet, decrease for two. And we're gonna do that all the way around six times. Six, all right, grab a little bit more yarn here. So that was round seven, and after round seven, you're gonna be down to 12 stitches around your circle. All right, we're gonna do one more row. We're gonna decrease all the way around. So we're gonna decrease six times in a row. 
and bring our balloon down to a six stitch opening. Let's go ahead and half double cro crochet decrease six times in a row. <laughs> Six. All right. So now we are down to six stitch opening here. So now we're going to want to stuff our balloon. So let's go ahead and take our yarn that we pulled right from the start, two to three yards. I'm just going to set your working yarn off to the side here. Grab that opening and stuff that wool down inside your balloon. I also use any yarn snippets from before. So I have this little extra fluff of guy from the last balloon that I made. So I'll go and put him in there. So that gives it just enough. You you certainly aren't stuffing it stiff like you would be with an amigurumi toy. You're just trying to give it a little bit extra material and extra fiber to absorb water. All right, so now we are on our um, final uh, round before we do our little flare for the balloon tie. This is round nine and you're gonna decrease all the way around again. So, so you only have six stitches here, so you're gonna be decreasing three times. And then I'll bring our, our little hole down to three stitches. So go ahead and half double crochet, decrease three times around. One, two, three. All right. Okay, so we're on our last round. We're just going to create the little flare for our um, little balloon tie there at the bottom and then fasten it off and close it up. So for the flares, so you've got three stitches left. You might have to try to get your, just kind of get your finger back in there. There's, there's still a little hole. You'll have three stitches and you're going to place three half double crochets into each of those stitches. And that's gonna flare out the bottom for our little balloon tie. So for our last round, round 10, we're going to place three half double crochets into each of these final three stitches. So you kind of just grab that, find the, find the hole there, and go for it. So we've got one, two, three, find your next stitch, one, two, three, your last stitch, one, two, three. So then you've got your final little round. You're gonna have nine half double crochets. Let's go ahead and take it and slip stitch to your first stitch there and snip off, leaving a little bit of a tail. Uh, not too much, you only have about, I don't know, six or eight inches there. Go ahead and just pull it through and we're gonna take our tapestry needle and there is still a little bit of a hole there where there's the three stitches left from round nine. And we wanna completely close up that hole so that the stuffing won't come out. I mean, these things are gonna get some use, um, hopefully for several years. It's the point of making reusable water balloons. So we wanna close that up so that stuffing won't come out and then we will just weave in our end and we'll be done. So I just take my yarn tail here and I just take it to the inside and I just pull it, push it out right in that, the base of that final stitch. You're wanting to just basically weave it through a couple times and cinch up this little neck so that the stuffing doesn't come out. So I just gonna take it through and then just push it through your, take it back through the other side of this stitch right here across to the opposite stitch on the other side. Just like that. Don't be too fiddly with it. It's You're not gonna really see it. I mean, you, you just wanna make sure that it gets done. I do it three times to make sure it closes up. So one, 
Then I push it through the next one over and out the opposite side to and three. Make sure you get it through your stitch so it holds it nice and secure. So just pull that tight and that closes up that neck so that that stuffing won't come out. And then just gonna take it back to the inside and find a row that you can weave it in through that uh, final row 10. And just take it through three or four stitches You're going to weave it in there and then just back, skip this very first little loop and back through those stitches that you just weaved it through. Okay, find your snips and snip it off. And there you have it. Little reusable water balloons. Now these are non-superwash wool, so you don't wanna wash them in the machine unless you want them to felt. I've never actually tried that. Maybe I should, because felting them might be might be fun too, but I don't think they'll absorb as much water that way. So um, just uh, when you're done using them, just wring them out and lay them out to dry on a towel or in the sun or whatever, and you'll have reusable water balloons to use for a very long time. I've got a whole bunch of them. You can use them in all different different colors, fun colors. Um, the great thing about this is that there's no mess to clean up. You're not using plastic, rubber, the water balloons, and you're being eco-friendly by using sustainable materials and reusable items instead of throwaway items. So there you have it. Thank you for watching and happy making. Don't forget to join our website offthebeatenhook.com for lots of free patterns, video tutorials, and tons of downloadable essential crochet resources. Happy hooking!